Hey guys, welcome back to another JavaScript programming tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how you can use closures in JavaScript, what they are, and yeah. So a closure is essentially when you define a function within another function, and then if you say return a function, then it's going to be able to use the scope of the original function which is defined in while still maintaining its independence. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. Let's create a function which is going to say make, uh, let's just say, uh, make talking machine. <laughs> okay. So what this does is it takes in a function. Uh, sorry, it is a function and it's going to take in a name, right? And obviously, if it's a talking machine, we want it to make a machine which talks. So in our case, the machine is just going to be a function. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a function, which uh, let's just call this the talker, right? And this doesn't actually take in any arguments. And it's simply just going to return or no, no, no. Let's call this, let's call this function talk. And yeah, what this is going to do is it's just going to console.log hello and name. So notice how this talk function is inside of this bigger function and it's not actually taking in any arguments or parameters it's just using the name which you took in in a larger scope. So this is using this function scope and it's just it's almost like creating a global variable and then you can access it anywhere within this scope. Now the interesting thing about closures is that let's say I return this talk function so if we manage to access something like let's call this a talker and it is make talk machine let's put the name as aria so this talker is a function right and it's essentially just this function but notice how if we're running this function we wouldn't expect it to be able to use this name variable because this was declared within this scope only. But the thing is, if we call this function, right? If we call this function, then it's actually going to be able to access this variable name, which we defined in here. So how is that? Because you think that this function is now almost outside of this scope, right? we're calling it in the global scope where it no longer has access to the name variables so it doesn't know where it is but that's the thing about JavaScript closures is if you return a function within another function it's still going to be able to access all the variables which this function actually should use so for example if we declare another variable up here let's just say uh, ending let's just make this bye bye this is declared in this function scope and we're going to be able to access it within this sub function while we're inside this function so we're going to we have to access it here obviously but the interesting thing about JavaScript closures is that we can access these all these variables this lexical scope you call it from this larger function even out, outside of a larger function itself because JavaScript preserves the scope of this. So if I call this, you can see we're still able to access this variable even when we weren't actually using it. We weren't actually meant to have access to it here. Like if we try and access ending over here, you're gonna see there's nothing here. It's not gonna find it because ending's defined in this scope. So that's the main idea about closures is that closures allow you to access the lexical scope of the parent function even if this return function is called outside the parent function. So hopefully that makes sense. It's all to do with the um, holding of scopes and the idea that you can actually transfer the scope of this, the variable scope of this function over here you can transfer it to the global scope by calling the variables involved within a function then returning that function and now this function has just maintained that that scope another thing is that if we have another talker 
these are going to have individual scopes. So if this is a different one, then calling this is just going to have a completely different scope. So it's basically duplicated this functions, this parent functions lexical scope. And right, you can see that because we've accessed two different variables, even though it's the same variable technically, but it's been duplicated. So hopefully that made sense. See you guys in a future tutorial. And yeah, closures are basically just the act of this function accessing the large scope. So yeah, see you guys in a future tutorial. And bye.